All right, guys, so welcome back. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, so uh, in this video, we are we are going to be covering how to add the uh, the minimap somewhere in this, to the right view, somewhere in this area right here. We're going to be adding the minimap, and we're going to be working a lot with the uh, cowboy. Uh, so right off the bat, um, I want to start was showing you something kind of based on my last couple of videos. Uh, so uh, doing the mobile controls here. Uh, so since we're in the, since we're working on a computer, you know, it's kind of tough um, to use those controls when we have access to the WASD and the mouse. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, head right up here, mobile input disable and then it's going to pop up this dialog go ahead and click OK and then it should disappear let's go ahead and hit the play mode and anything that's associated to the dual touch controls uh, should disappear uh, this other canvas that should stay there uh, that has his little health meter is ammunition so just waiting on the play mode and there we go and as you can see I have access to uh, this normal everything works as it should all right so uh, that's how that works and um, so we're gonna go ahead and leave it uh, disabled uh, so, all right, and then the let's get back here to the cowboy. Uh, the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a camera uh, to uh, to be a child on him. And now we just kind of want to mess with the settings here a little bit. Um, let's say 90. So we're gonna point that straight down. Uh, we want to go up about 100 just to play it safe. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I, I think I, I, at a certain point past 50 maybe, uh, but it just depends on the game that you're making, uh, what project you're working with. Um, so in this case, who knows, there could be some skyscrapers. Uh, so we're gonna set this pretty high. Okay, and so we've got that there. Uh, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add uh, a little arrow icon uh, to indicate where the player is on our mini map. Uh, go ahead and select on your uh, on the cowboy character or your character, and we're going to add a child 3D object, uh, which is going to be a quad. Uh, let's go ahead, zoom in on that, and you can see the orientation. It's not going to line up with the camera too well, being flat like that. So let's go ahead and change the X rotation to 90 degrees. Then we also want to put it at about 75 on the, the Y position. So that's going to bring it up. Let's see. Oops. And right here. And we should be able to see that on our camera. So yeah, we do have that there. And let's go back to the quad. So uh, one other thing, um, it could be casting a shadow down there. Uh, so we do uh, want to remove that. Okay, so we're going to turn off the cast shadows there. We're also going to uh, uncheck the receive shadows. And then the mesh collider, uh, we want to remove that because in case there's any straight bullets flying through the air, uh, they could collide with that. So uh, let's go ahead and remove that component. And now, uh, it's kind of dull. It's not really doing much. So if we look at the camera, hey, wow, there's a square. Okay, and uh, so let's go back to the quad. Or let's here in our assets, we're going to create a new folder just for some of the stuff that we, we need to add. That's unique to us. It has nothing to do really with anything else. So um, we'll call this third person cover shooter template dash UI. 
All right. And so first we're going to need some uh, textures. And uh, so you can go online, uh, do a Google search. You are going to want something that's white. OK, so once you have it uh, pulled in there, uh, select it on the texture type. Go ahead and drop that down, change that to Sprite 2D UI. Apply. And uh, now we have our fancy little arrow here. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is create a new folder. Call this one Materials. And in the materials folder, we're going to create a material. Let's call this player arrow. On player arrow, uh, we want to drop the arrow on here. And now that we've got that, uh, it's still showing white down here. Uh, so what we want to do, we want to do the cutout. So it is important that you do have like a transparent, and it's also again important that you do have the white. Uh, we'll see that later. And uh, so now that we have our material created, go back, select our quad, find our material, and drop that on there. And as you can see, we now have an arrow. It does line up with the camera, so. Uh, the direction that it's showing on there, uh, that's the direction that the character is facing. Like so. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, so now that we have this, uh, what we can do uh, at this point is we want to go ahead and uh, create an area where our mini map is going to show. So let's go ahead and select the canvas uh, that was already in the scene before we started. We don't want to use the dual touch controls because those will get disabled uh, if we're on a PC or Xbox or something like that, a non-mobile. So when we disable that, that disables the dual touch controls. So on this regular canvas, or if you want to create another canvas, uh, we're going to add a UI panel and uh, let's put this up here in this corner like so grab the anchors all right beautiful okay and so all right so let's go ahead and rename our uh, panel we're gonna name this minimap panel In this, uh, here's what's going to render uh, what the camera is shooting. So we want to do a raw image. And then uh, let's go back to our textures folder. We're going to create a render texture. And so this render texture, let's go ahead and call this our minimap renderer. Okay, so that looks fine. The 256 by 256, uh, we'll go ahead, uh, leave that. And then, let's see. For our raw image, let's go ahead and rename this one as well to the minimap renderer. Okay, so we have our nice image here. Let's change this. Six. 
a little too big. All right, that looks good there. Okay. All right, there we go. Let's see if I can center. No, no. All right, so that looks good. Okay, so back to the camera. Uh, this is where uh, sort of the magic happens. Um, we want to uh, add the target texture, which is our mini map renderer, into this portion. So it's only going to show our what's rendered on this camera. Is going to be rendered on this raw image or on the yeah this uh on this renderer the image renderer so now we go to the raw image the minimap renderer in our canvas and we want to drop that on there and as you can see it does give us that like bluish hue and we can already see it's rendering. Okay, so uh, if we, we're not gonna see too much. It's not gonna really have too much action for us um, because the camera is sort of in our you know, direction. So as you can see here, as I walk around and turn, doesn't change the arrow direction in the minimap. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's uh, go ahead and uh, duplicate our material here and let's create one for enemies. Okay, so let's see. rename this one. enemy arrow and let's change the color here to a nice red okay and let's find one of our enemies that's pretty close uh, I think there's a group of them right behind the cowboy what about this guy so the practice target. Uh, yeah, we could definitely add one to him. Let's do something fancy here real quick. We're just going to copy the position and then for the enemy, uh, we're going to set that position so we can just swap the arrow uh, right over. All right, so we've got our <clears throat> dummy character there, and then we're going to go to our cowboy. Uh, all we need is the quad, uh, and let's we'll rename it here in a minute. Okay, so grab that quad from the cowboy that we just duplicated, drag it down, make it a child of the enemy, and... Let's rename this one. All right, so that's enemy arrow. And then rename that one player arrow. Move this guy. He's all moved. <clears throat> and now uh, grab the enemy uh, arrow material. Drop that on the enemy arrow quad. 
Uh, let's go ahead and press play. Test that out. Okay, let's go check out our uh, enemy. And look, we do have the arrow there, and you can see the direction uh, works good. So uh, there you go. That's a nice little mini map. All right, well, thanks for checking it out, guys. I'll uh, probably do some more adding on to this, uh, fine-tuning, uh, but this is sort of just a basic functionality, a little generic. If you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more, uh, please subscribe. All right, uh, uh, thanks again, and uh, have a good night.